Good morning and welcome to another broadcast of Synergy Football Radio. Brought to you by Oscar Mayer Wieners. You can suck on them if you don't like this broadcast. Moving on to the AFC East with the Bills having the number one pick. Now there's a couple things with the number one pick. It is a big responsibility. Do you know why? Because there's so many times that you pick a uh, number one overall pick and they're complete bust. You know, especially, you know, as if quarterbacks or whatnot. But number one pick is a very, very big responsibility. Now, inside sources say that the Bills are looking into possibly a wide receiver. Now, yes. I'm thinking, wait, don't they have two pretty good receivers? Now they are aging. They're going to look, um, see what the, the market is for them and see if they can get a nice young prospect. But what I think is they should sure off that offensive line. I know you probably heard me um, say offensive line a lot on the different broadcasts, but offensive line is a big, big deal. Keeps your quarterback up. You know, look at them Cowboys. They run it with Ezekiel Elliott. I'm telling you, offensive line is the way. If they go wide receiver, look at them for a snatch up. The seventh overall prospect, number one prospect for wide receiver, Haggins. Or they could even go with a Maxi Burrell. Let's see what they do. Anticipation is killing me. Tonight at 9, we will see the first overall pick and see what they do. Moving on to the Dolphins. Dolphins have set themselves pretty nicely in this draft with the 8th overall pick and the 18th overall pick. Now, looking at the depth chart for the Dolphins, the one thing that stands out is a tight end. They would nice tight end that would be able to help them with the checkdowns, drags, corner routes, get them out of tough situations, get the ball moving, a nice tight end like a Gonzalez or a... You know, uh, Jason Witten helped out the Cowboys and the Falcons a lot. What they need is a nice young tight end. With 23 interceptions, Jamarcus Russell needs somebody to throw to. You know, nice some checkdowns. Also, they need D-tackles. When I saw there, they don't have a strong run-stopping D-tackle. With the 8th and the 18th overall pick, they can have those two situations or two positions covered with a nice tight end like Kevin Burner or Evan Houston be able to and then grab a D-tackle with either the 18th pick. Let's see what they do, but it is interesting, and they set themselves up for victory in this draft. If they do things correctly, they can move on to the next level. Maybe you make playoffs with the record like 9-7. and seven. They can probably get it to the next level and reach playoffs next year. It is a tough division, but if they get some nice spots and nice young players, they can move on. Moving on to the Patriots. You know, they have no picks in this draft. I'm seeing that they might need to share up that offensive line. In the later rounds, maybe grab one or two position players, wide receiver, running back, just to get them some more depth. Now, also, I see that the Patriots are a pretty young team, um, tied with the division leader, the Jets, and a pretty good overall season. Let's see what they do, but not too much are happening uh, for the Patriots in the first round. Unless they are trading a nice player to move up to the first round, you never know uh, with these drafts. People can move up. Right now, I see the Patriots staying put, but you never know, so keep on watch out because teams that have no picks in the first round like to make moves in the first round. Now, looking at the Jets, they have the 29th overall pick. There's a couple things that I see that they might need in this draft. Now, a nice young safety would be great. Filling up that nice spot, you can draft Antoine Mangum, a free safety. Um, he will be able to move to strong safety, sure him up in the safety position. If you get a nice hard-hitting safety in this draft, they might be able to cause some more turnovers. They already had pretty good defense going into uh, coming out of the last season with a nice playoff run. Also, maybe go wide receiver with Isaac Ely. Um, maybe later rounds, maybe be able to get a nice young receiver, build him. Pretty good. But the Jets, you know, with their playoff push and their playoff run, well, had a great season. But one of those things I could do. Um, and also, they could sure up the offensive line. You know me. Maybe get an offensive line from the free agency. Maybe even go after Odell Beckham to give him some little veteran help in the wide receiving core. Either that. Or maybe even go free safety in the free agency. If they can get a nice hard-hitting safety, it can help that defense out. 
Get make some plays, cause fumbles, because you know Madden, they love to fumble at the wrong time, in the wrong place, and even including playoffs. All right, well, that's been this broadcast for the AFC East. Like I said, stay tuned for the next one, the broadcast for the next division. This has been Synergy Football Radio, brought to you by Oscar Meyer Wieners. Yes, I just called you a wiener. <laughs>